Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today something a little bit different but still very much in our wheelhouse. We're going to be playing What Remains of Edith Finch. Now this is a short game. It's only going to be a one or two parter but I've heard so many good things. It won best narrative the year it was released. This has non-stop been recommended to me as one of the games to play and we just finished God of War so it was time for a shorter game, but I've heard it is incredibly emotional and mysterious and leaves a lasting impression. So I hope you're all gonna love it. I think based on the stream's reaction that you are. So take a second before we begin to like the video and we'll get on to it. Enjoy. What remains of Edith Finch? We seem to be on some sort of boat. We're on a bench. Oh. Oh. Okay, Edith Finch journal. There's some lilies on top, which is a very, that's a flower I associate personally with a funeral. I think those are, they're a specific type of lily. I think they're called calla lilies, but I very much associate those like very round lilies with funerals. But who knows? She's got a cast on, okay. Am I supposed to? Yeah, well, okay. This isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Glorious Island Gazette, okay. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Are we not gonna open them? Nah, that's what we should do with urgent bills. At least that's what my brain wants me to do with urgent bills. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Ooh, I don't like that. That does not bode well for my feelings. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Okay, so this is the Finch's residence, I guess. I like that this is voice acted because then I don't have I to read a lot. this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Hoof prints? Driven? I don't know what to make of that. Oh, I see. No one had driven, so she didn't see tire treads, but she did see footprints. I get it now. I'm with it. I'm getting it. Um, the deer probably left the footprints. <laughs> hoof prints. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Quite the house. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Dreaming in a good way or dreaming in a bad way, I wonder. It looks like there's a little path this way. But it seems like it just kind of leads to here. 
maybe isn't super... Uh-oh. A missing poster for Milton? Milton Finch? I wonder if that's her brother. I can't really read the rest of it, but... It seems like a pondering spot. You know those spots? The pondering spots? As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Interesting. Okay, a little side area. Seems like a pretty standard house to start. Broken tree swing. I've always wanted a tree swing, but I've never had one myself. I heard something moving around in the garage. Oh, I thought that was thunder. Am I supposed to investigate that? Because what if I didn't want to do that? You know, do I have to go in that side door. Should I not go in the front? Oh, it's going to let me. Okay, Let, let's take a look at the front door, at least. Okay, fertilizer, or potting soil at least. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Okay. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. It looks pretty lived in. Seems to be a finch on the stained glass window. So I suppose, since we have a key, we'll try the side door. Since we did hear something moving in the garage. <laughs> Whatever that means. Oh, I guess, oh, in through the doggy door. <laughs> I used to do that Probably as a kid, too. the doggy too. door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Okay. Pretty standard garage fare here. Work. What is that? Gram glow? Grain, grain glow, wood shiner. <laughs> Graham glow would be a little bit different. Okay, a cracked door there, a light switch here. It's the power had been switch. turned off the night we left. Oh. No power? That's not creepy for a for house the first at all. time in years. January 2010. So I imagine it's some time past that since no one's been at the house to change the calendar. I felt like I was home. This is a very full house. It's, there's so much stuff, but it's all very specific stuff. It's like books everywhere and canned tuna everywhere. Why? Why so much tuna? Apple pie. A classic. But instead of a family, Ooh. there were just memories of one. Water filter. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Do you remember that? Do you remember what it was like when the only delivery you could get was pizza? Now everything can get delivered. That's crazy. I mean, to some places. Some places still don't really do delivery, but. Okay, so in loving memory of Lewis Finch, beloved brother to Edith, son of Dawn, great grandson to Eddie, memorial service Finch Family Cemetery. Okay, so Lewis is the brother. We take a look at the family tree. Milton and, oh. Okay, so Lewis died in 2010. 
Milton died in 2003. Seems like she had two brothers that have died, which is like a huge bummer already. Oh, and they were older? Yes, older brothers. Very sad. But by quite a bit, actually. Interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. So they kind of spell it out for us there. So we have Edith there, Dawn the mother, Edie the grandma. Yes. And Louis, the older brother. Okay. Very interesting. What's going on with this family? I have to wonder. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. <laughs> so that explains why there's so many cans. I mean, this is a lot. This is a lot, a lot. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Okay, so maybe that explains why everything's kind of a shambles. Maybe there was something that happened that night. Two brothers, I assume. What happened? I find myself intrigued already from the start. Oh my gosh, an old eye home. <laughs> Nostalgia. <laughs> wow. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like so a smile many with too books. many teeth. So many books. I've always wanted like a, a big old library shelf like this, right? Like with the ladder and everything. It's so like, I don't know. It seems romantic because of Beauty and the Beast, you know? Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Sank how? <laughs> sank how? Kind of scary. Dawn Finch, living room. So it kind of seems like this is like what? Walk and tempura. The Pacific pantry. The Hunter's Roast. Okay, so a few cookbooks. Seems like a few fiction books. 51 Tales. Time and the Gods. Do you think it's fun to come up with fake book title names when you're a game developer? Weird Hobbies. Good, good. Barbara. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Good. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was labeled Barbara because this was like a box of someone's ashes. I I didn't want to open that up. Kind of an interesting music box though. Um, you know, cute little dancing Red Riding Hood, but there's like a Sasquatch in the back. Interesting. My Friend Bigfoot. Okay, I guess we were part of some movie set for My Friend Bigfoot. <laughs> okay. This does seem like the setting for such a thing. Okay. Good. Some some war veteran maybe in the family. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet, but let me just explore a little smidge more. Okay. Box cutter, some packing materials. Let's 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 see about this missing poster. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive.
Interesting. Interesting? I have concerns. I have concerns about the foam insulated door. I have concerns. Okay, well. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Okay, well. Oh, look at these! A little stair climbing chair. Always wanted to ride in one of these. I've never wanted to, like, need to ride in one of these, but I've always wanted to. You know? What a, what an interesting picture of a baby. Okay. Well, let's see what's in this area here. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Never investigate the creepy basement when the power's out in a house that no one's lived in for years. That's standard procedure. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. All the bedrooms? Seems like an odd choice. Maybe sealed up Milton's bedroom, but sealed up all the bedrooms? Okay, so then it seems, oh, I see. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. What? 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 Okay, there's like a hamster cage. Molly? Died in 1947? There's a tree branch in her room? I have questions. Um, okay. Nope, nope, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. How do I get out of here? Okay. Okay, so Molly, 1937 to 19. Okay, so she died when she was 10. Oh, so this is a foam insulation situation. Okay. What the heck? All right. Time and the Gods, a second copy. Game developers didn't think I would read the names of these books. Well, I did. Okay, I guess we're going to have to see about the rest of these bedrooms then. Okay, this one's underwater themed. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. So why didn't she seal this one up? If all the rest of them were sealed, why not this one? Why is this rug curled over and what does it mean? This, this is not your standard mystery. <laughs> This, this is, this is an odd Lewis setting. Told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. That's the key we were given, huh? To this book? Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Well... What if I'm afraid too? From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Y'all aren't gonna believe this, but I had a dream about a room like this in my childhood home, even though I never had one like this. Who is that supposed to be? I have questions. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Oh. Okay, this is Molly's room. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead.
Orca's Island Calves. That is a bad mascot. The Calves. That is a bad mascot name. Oh, an ant farm. She had a hamster and an ant farm? I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. What? <laughs> it has an underground drawer room? Is this how people entertained themselves in 1947? By building things like this? That's wild. That is, that is crazy. Yeah, look, it has a little passageway. That is really cool. This whole dresser drawer was a hamster land. That's fantastic. Okay, that's where we came from. Right, 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 right. Okay. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Oh, okay, so this is why there's a tree. It's a fake tree. It's a decor tree. It's like a fantasy kids room kind of tree. Here's, here's the thing. If you were going to seal up a door to a bedroom to keep humans out, you would just, you know, put the bar over it. You'd, you'd, you'd just put the wood over it. And that would be it. You would just seal it, you know, key, wood, maybe for extra reinforcement. What you would not do is spray foam insulation into all of the seams of the door. That's not what you would do to keep humans out. I have concerns. Oh, I guess they also had calendars in 1947. Who knew? Oh, is this Latin? Oh, I bet they did learn Latin at the time. Um, a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. This is like the best view in the house though. Look at that nice little lakeside view. I assume it's a lake. I don't know that for sure. It's got lake vibes though. Oh, okay, I guess they were into like insectology. As oh God, she kind of mutilated this sea star, huh? With a butter knife. Well, Molly, I have questions about your habits. I guess if you don't have video games, you gotta entertain yourself somehow. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Edie, huh? Edie, her your grandma. Who is Molly? Molly is Edie's daughter? Eldest daughter. So Molly is Edie's eldest daughter. Wow, Edie li lived a long time. What? That's too long, is it? That's really long. Okay. For someone who was born in 1917, it's a really long time to live. But okay. Molly Finch. What is this? What, are these sea monkeys? Okay, Molly had a gerbil with a mega mansion, an ant farm, and seahorses. No, sea monkeys. I'm fascinated. <gasps> and she was a cat girl. There were cat girls in the 1947s. That's crazy. Okay, tell me more. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Oh, now I'm Molly. Should I eat this pumpkin? My Halloween candy was all gone. I will not eat this pumpkin. It is made of ceramic. Tell me more, gerbil. The gerbil food was dry, but oh, I I'm not gonna- Ew, no, no! What? Molly? No wonder you only lived to be 10 years old. <gasps> Why? 
Why? <laughs> Why did she do that? I didn't want that. Molly! We don't do that! Oh my god. Oh my, I don't know what to make of that. Okay, this is odd. This is probably why Molly started immediately writing in her journal, I don't have much longer to live. I have to tell people. <laughs> yeah, there's the sea star you mutilated. Oh, it's like kind of foggy out, that's cool. It's so dark in here. I guess there was no power in 1947 either. Oh, it's a fish, not sea monkey. Okay, here's my question. <laughs> If I click to interact with this fist, is she gonna eat it? Don't, I don't want you to be thinking about anything, Molly. Don't think about eating this fish. I have to click it. I have to know what the game at this point has decided. I'm in it now. I'm invested. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Thank goodness, he has a name. His name is Christopher. You thought about eating Christopher? <sighs> okay, so we don't know where this door leads, but we do know that this one leads into the hallway. So let's see what's behind this door. Oh, a bathroom, okay, reasonable. Don't, don't eat the fake berry from the, don't eat that. Don't. She's gonna eat the decor? Are we for real? Oh, Molly. I ate a lot of things that night. Molly. I'm starting to doubt if Molly's a real human child. I'm I'm starting to doubt. I don't know. Her hand looked kind of wraith-like there. I kept eating and eating. Don't eat the toothpaste! No! Ew! What? What am I in for? here because the closest thing that i had to this like kind of game is gone home which is a very normal game about normal people and molly is eating gerbil food christmas decor and toothpaste I have questions. I have questions. I have questions. I have questions. So many questions. Okay. What are we gonna eat next, I wonder? Don't even look at the toilet, Brianna. Then I heard aggressive. chirping outside my window. Don't eat the bird. Don't eat the bird. Don't eat It was a barn swallow going bird. back to her nest. Don't eat it. I reached out for her. And suddenly... <laughs> I was a cat! Okay, but cats still don't eat toothpaste. What is this game? I'm, I, I don't know what to make of this. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Are we going to follow this bird?
What is this? Is this a, a weight? A frisbee? Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. I don't know. They look like they're fighting. Maybe we should leave them alone. Okay, if she's suddenly a human that turned into a cat, why does she tingle like she has a collar? Why are the sound effects tingling? Where am I supposed to go from here? There? Okay. This is pretty cat-like. Oh, the bird has a nest. Oh, we're gonna mess that nest up for sure. Did I, did I make that up in my head? Did she not have a nest? Okay, I guess I made that up. That's fine. I just, I thought I saw, oh, I did see it. <laughs> this game has me so doubting everything already. The babies were all gone. Hmm. Okay. Oh, bird's over there. Am I supposed to catch this bird? Because if I am, I'm a... I really don't want to fall to my doom here. I'm getting the sense that I'm going to fall to my doom. Why don't I just jump over there? I jumped and I almost got her. Okay. I could tell she was getting really tired. I don't really want to hurt this bird. <clears throat> oh boy. Definitely almost jumped to my doom there. <clears throat> Where did you go, bird? Where did... Is that you? No, that was in like oddly bird shaped shadow. I lost the bird. Where are you? Up there? No, that's the other tree. I'm so turned around. There's a person out there. What is he looking at? Okay. Oh, there you are. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I don't think this is gonna end well for Molly the cat. I gobbled her up, and suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Wow. Okay. I don't know what to make of this at all. What? <clears throat> I really don't want to hurt the rabbits. Really don't want that. I'll look at the rabbits, but I don't want to hurt the rabbits. You 
keep saying rabbits, and I feel like I'm supposed to click something, and I don't want to. <clears throat> don't want to hurt the rabbits. Ugh. Am I just following the rabbits? Oh, where are the rabbits? Oh no, I missed. Oh no, I hit a tree. Oh no. Oh, we're, it's gonna make us do this. Ugh. his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. <laughs> then I flew off to find something bigger. Is it over? <clears throat> a mama rabbit! Could it not be a rabbit? She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. If we're a shark, what? Why are we a shark rolling down this hill? What is happening? I don't understand. I don't understand what I've. What's happening? I'm a shark. But when I was a cat, I was in the tree. When I was an owl, I was in the sky. Why am I a shark in in the forest? Okay, I'm just gonna flippity flop my way down the hill. Okay, here we go. Continue on the adventure then. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. What is this human child hungry for? She's never going to be able to eat. A seal? Why are you making me kill all the cute things? I wanted fat, juicy seals. Ugh. I mean, I do... I, nature is great. Sharks need to eat. So do owls, but... Ugh, I hate it. I don't want to be the predator. I don't want this to be some kind of metaphor. Apparently, I'm very bad at catching prey animals anyway. Very bad at it. Wow, I'm just all over the place. I feel like sharks are better at it than I am. We just bumped into it. Oh, we did get it. Okay. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. I'm starting to get a picture of Molly that I don't like. <laughs> Mutilated sea stars, gerbils with two big houses, and just eaten, eaten small defenseless animals. I grabbed on tight, but I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What are you now? A monster? Okay. Are we still hungry? Oh, this is interesting. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. How did I know she was a monster? I do like the text effects. That's really cool. Okay, can't go that way. Whoa, I'm all turned around. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I think we're going this way. This is really cool. As far as, like, game design goes, like, the movement, you have to move your, like, tentacle the whole way, and then you can click to kind of follow it, which is really, like, really cool. And indicative of how, like, creative you can be, you know? <clears throat> I was big, but I moved real quiet. Okay. Why? I mean, I know why, but I'm like, oh, no, I can't watch the, I can't watch the owl eat the rabbit, but when a human goes down, I'm like, okay. <laughs> see, I owned a rabbit, you see. I've owned a few rabbits in my life, and I, it, it's sad. It's sad to me. Like if I was a human, I'd be in this room. <laughs> There from here, can I? Alright. Because I'm gonna have to go out the side door. Definitely inside here. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I oh, saw something green. Something I had to have, so I swam towards it. We're still a monster. Interesting. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Ooh, that's Molly's toilet. Oh no, please don't eat your family. I got closer and Please closer. don't eat your family. Please don't eat yourself. Please don't eat your family. All of my stomach started growling. All of them? Are you a monster with multiple stomachs? And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Okay. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Okay. Well, that was a wild ride. Specifically, being a floppy shark in the forest was wild. I really don't know what to make of that. I'm gonna go with she has kind of a macabre imagination. That's what I'm going to go with. She was an imaginative 10-year-old. If I open this, am I going to become a cat? Am I still me? Okay, I'm still me. I don't really think I should be walking out onto this... Um, wood awning considering you know no one's been here in quite some time but 
We're explorers. We shouldn't climb onto this tree. No, we shouldn't. But we can go this way. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. So, mom knew then. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. I was trying to like get a sense of what was in the bird cage. What I didn't expect was a shrine picture of a bearded dragon. Named Rob. Um, but in this bird cage is a shrine picture of Lurpy the bird. So, there you have that. And Purply the bird. Good. And Furpy the bird. And an owl named Zerpy. Because, of course. How could you? Oh, there's more. Derpy Jr. the bird. Oh, there's so many bird cages. Um, Derpy, the bird, as as you would. Uh, no name. The parakeet. Okay. Bob, the snake. Good. Good name. Solid name for a snake. You might call it a solid snake. And Burpy, the bird. Good. As 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 you'd expect. All the things you'd expect from a number of bird cages in a great grandma's room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay, what do we, oh, she painted. I was wondering, because Molly has like a wood grain log portrait too. So I was wondering who painted it. Apparently, Edie. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Interesting, okay, so Lewis. Edie's brother, nope, not Edie's brother, Edith's brother, died only a week before they left. So whatever happened maybe was influenced Edie by- Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. They must live somewhere cold. Aw, painting Molly's room, not Molly's room, Walter's room, painting Walter's room. Oh, okay, so shark- Shark imagery, underwater imagery. Maybe Molly was influenced by kind of like Walter's room vibe. Barbara. Barbara and Walter. Calvin and Sam and Walter and... There's some blank canvases there. Hmm. <clears throat> Good. Lewis and Milton and Edith. And a... Bird's nest from Molly's dream. Odd. Student takes top hunters in state photography contest. That's nice. It's nice to have a great grandma who cares. A little hanky for Lewis. A beautiful, like, Swedish minimalist dollhouse. We love that. Her room was like a museum. Hmm. This seems like maybe we're about to be sucked into another sort of imagination land, which I gotta be honest, I don't know if I'm ready for. So this is interesting. This is interesting to me. What is going on here? Because I was under the impression that all the bedrooms were sealed, even though clearly there are additional bedrooms. But why? Why is Edie's bedroom door sealed off? Because Edie lived here. So I'm confused about that. What is it with grandmas and perfumes on the nightstand? My grandma had the same thing. Pill bottle. Trash. Good. Always good to have a trash can directly next to you for your newspapers. Shrine sketches. Big and terrifying. Mole man beneath the finch house. What? Excuse me? 
Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. And we're not going to get any additional detail about that. It's just, we're just going to take that for what it is, right at face value there. Okay. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Girl, you are 17 years old. I think how we define long time might be a little bit different. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Edie, Edie seems like a real character. Bedbug, the book. I don't want anything to do with that book. Mural ske sketches, Barbara concepts, Molly concepts. What, is, what does that mean? Built 1937, Sven Finch. Sven, I think she mentioned, when was her great people, great Sven was grand? killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Oh, okay. Okay. So Sven is here and Sven I don't know why he's a leaf TBD but Sven is the one who built this house and apparently he was building a slide that was shaped like a dragon and it fell on him and that's what killed him Edie being a creative spirit was the one who said yeah Sven was killed by a dragon which is not untrue which is technically the truth so Sven is the one who built the house. Taxidermy and the home. Taxidermy for the home. Unique. <laughs> Dragon kills Finch. Tragedy strikes as Finch family pond. Tragedy strikes at Finch family pond. Celebrations turn turns to morning, I'm guessing. That is a very dramatic dragon shaped. What's the word? Slide. It, I mean, it's gorgeous. Look at it. Okay. There's that same baptized baby portrait. I can't tell what's what's truly odd to me about it. I think what's odd is that I think it's supposed to be like a really, really old portrait of a baptized baby, but it's clearly like not old style photography. <clears throat> so I think there's something off about something there. Also, the fact that like they have it like front and center in their foyer and then also they have it a second time here in this bedroom. It's just a little odd. It, it's just a little odd. And look, everything here is a little odd. So, you know, it kind of matches the odd Even vibe. Even in the 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. That's right. Age is just a number. Norwegian folk tales. That's kind of fun. Deepest sympathy. Blech. Sad. Oh, a shark as a newspaper. Well, fr a fr made from... Do no Made from newspaper. Okay. So, Odin. Odin Finch, Joining the Great Majority, which is a book she has here precisely twice. So she got, actually, uh, three times, it seems like. So maybe, oh, because Odin wrote it. That makes sense. Okay, so you have multiple copies of the book when you're the author of it. That makes sense. Um, A quill he used to write it, I suppose. Um, okay, so this is The Mysteries of Death and Thereafter, Odin Finch. Yeah, this seems like it's going to be another little character piece. I'm excited. Bring it on. What do you got for us, Odin? For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune.
Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. The year Molly was born? Oh. This is the house that sank. He put his house on the boat. Okay. So he tried to like tow boat his house. Is that a thing people did in 1937? Odin's daughter Edie, <clears throat> with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Okay, so I'm starting to get a more full picture here. So Odin is Edie's father. Edie and Sven are husband and wife, which I guess is why Sven is a leaf, because he's through marriage. He's family through marriage. What I don't understand is why, you know, it doesn't matter. It's just artistic interpretation, right? And baby Molly, who was born in 37, which I remember, stepped ashore into their new home, Orcas Island, without a home. But I guess they managed to get some bricks from the original house, which they used to build the fireplace. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. I guess that's the, um, the memorial shrine they built for him. I like it. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Oh, there's the fireplace from the bricks. I like it. Is that it? Seems like it. How do I get out? How do I get out of this? Oh, okay. back button. Good, good, good. Okay, good. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Imagine your name being Ingeborg. Just imagine, what if your name was Ingeborg? What would you do? So now I'm further confused why the Sven and Edie door, oh, we can peephole. Good, good, good. Let's take a peep. Let me peep. Hello? I, I guess that's a reverse peephole. You can only peep through the other side. So I guess that does lead to the hallway. So yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't quite understand. Is this must be a bathroom then? This is a bathroom! This is a bathroom. This is a bathroom. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. No. Just no. Horrible. Horrible, horrible choices. The only choices. trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Grandpa it Sam. It was a pretty big trace. Grandpa Sam's oh, it's a family tree. Okay, so Edie was Edith's great grandma. So it was great grandma Edie and great grandpa Sven. Meanwhile, that would have been Dawn is her mother, and Grandpa Sam would have... Okay, so it's following the family tree through this specific bloodline of this, like, family curse. The Finch family curse. Okay. So Edie and Sven had Sam, who then had Dawn, who then had Lewis, Milton, and Edith with Sanjay, it seems. Yeah, Sam and Kay. Okay, so Kay had this pink bathroom choice. All right, Kay, we gotta talk. Kay, that is a bad choice. This is a bad choice. Okay, 
we'll look around a little okay even this one's sealed off okay also has a peephole but so now i'm kind of wondering like at what point in the timeline the doors were sealed because we know Edie lived for a really long time and this was her bedroom. So why did Kay, while Edie was still alive, make this bathroom all pink? It looks like it was a shared bathroom even though it is attached to Edie's bedroom. But like, at what point were the doors sealed off to the point where Edie rebelled and put in the peepholes? I guess they didn't decide to do mirrors in this game, which is fine. Oh, Mr. Bubbles. Well, the equivalent, the game game dev equivalent of Mr. Bubbles. This is Baby Bubble Bonanza. Bubble baths, man. That was the life. Plastic chair in the shower. Classic. Okay, let's see what this is about then. How did someone get a picture of that house, house sinking in a storm? How did someone get that picture? In 1937. There's a secret in this bathroom. What if we didn't want that? What if this was just a gross bathroom? There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Interesting. What is this? Okay, a photography room. Okay. Calvin Finch, born in 1950, died in 1961. A lot of child Sven gave deaths Sam an old camera family. he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Okay, so Sam was the photographer then. Okay. Grandpa Sam. He took mirror selfies. Mirror selfies before they were cool. Deer imagery again. Okay. Strong sculpt. Okay, just a lot of... What does that say? Couple turns land into a native haven. That's nice. That's a nice headline. Murder probe clues exhausted. That's not a nice headline. Oh, where does that go? Okay. Well... Here we go. Couple turns land into a native haven. It's the same title. Milton. A little Milton doodle. I guess Milton knew all of, of these hidey holes, huh? Well, this hidey hole isn't that well hidden. Any kid would find this. Okay, another closed off bedroom. I'm guessing, based on the Fort Calvin, that this was Calvin's room. And a split bedroom, Fort Sam. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so here we have Edie and Sven, who have children, Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, and Walter. So this is Calvin and Sam's shared bedroom. So maybe then these two boys were the boys in the pictures. Um, I have questions. Were these children smoking cigarettes? Secret lives of war photographers. United States Marine Corps. Okay, so it seems like Sam was the the military vet maybe that was featured 
kind of in that picture down there. Maybe not a picture of him, but well, I don't know. It was in obtaining a 120% deportment grade. I don't know what that is. Deportment isn't like um doing well. Deportment isn't like behavior. Behavior, that's the word. Okay. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. They were twins. Oh. And that he never talked about him. Oh. Well, I kind of wanted to go up both stairs, but okay, we'll do these stairs first. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Oh, A little Calvin shrine. Died young. How I Want to Remember My Brother Aww. by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Stop! Calvin! Dinner's ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Going around the tree on the swing? Maybe if I hadn't said that. Uh-oh. You can see he already has a broken leg. Like, maybe he's Calvin, already been trying. I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh, no. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Oh, God. I think he'd already made up his mind. This is That's horrible. what I want to remember about my brother. The day he made up his mind to fly, and he did. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. They, they, they warm you up almost with these family, and I don't know if these are inevitable that you have to play them in this order, but experiencing Calvin's third is like the first one is Molly's, right? And it's all like whimsical and it's young and fantastical and animals. And you're kind of like, you know, a little bit horror. So intrigue, tension building, very interesting, right? But not objectively like horrifying, just kind of fun. 
adventurous. And then you have Odin's, which is like very creative with the like, you know, it's not a Polaroid, but whatever that's called, the spectroscope. I don't know. I'm, I don't know what the word is. Vision scope or something. Um, very creative, a very interesting part of the story, another puzzle piece in place that you're not expecting it when you go into Calvin's for it to be the story of exactly how he died. Not only that, but you're the one controlling the swing. You're the one making him go higher and higher and higher. And then you hear the words of his brother remembering him, remembering the good about him as you swing higher and higher and higher and this ball forms in your gut and you're still swinging him and the mom is calling like come in come in but he had already made up his mind and you know you're barreling towards something awful and you just want it to stop so badly but just like the momentum of the story the momentum of the swing is taking you further and further every time and you're getting a little seasick because you can see the words come up on the screen and you're trying to follow them as you're going up and down. So it's actually creating a physiological sense of, of, of nausea for most people. And I don't get seasick that often. I don't get motion sickness. But that was making me have this like feeling in my stomach of whooshing just like you're on the swing. So you not only have this emotional like, please stop, but you have to go forward. And then you have this physiological, please stop, but you're, you're swinging anyway. And then to see him fly off and to have the metaphor of like, he always wanted to fly. Like so many kids want that. Horrible, horrible, horrifying to be Calvin in that moment, to, to physically feel like you are him. And at the same time, you're seeing it and experiencing it through the lens of his brother who misses him and wants to remember the best of him. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this game? I know when this game came out, everybody was talking about it, but was everyone talking about it like that? Because what the fuck is the only words? Oh my gosh. What an absolute... Dude, I don't know. That wasn't, that was insane. I, absolutely insane. I need a break. And the, and the cast, because you can see that Calvin's already tried this and it already hasn't ended well because he has a cast on his foot. That was part of the visual storytelling too. Mm. And and how beautiful, I, I can't, I'm never going to get over dissecting this moment, how beautiful that, that Sam chose to write about that moment as a way of honoring who he was. He, he at no point ever said, I wish Calvin wasn't the adventurous spirit that he was. I wish he'd never wanted to fly. Like so many of us feel in moments of grief. No, Sam said, I want to remember that about Calvin. I want to remember that he was an adventurer. He wanted to fly. That when he set his mind to something, he did it. Sam remembered the best of him even though the best of him is what brought him to his early end? Are you kidding me? Just stab me right in the heart. It would be less painful. Ugh. Calvin. 
You made me cry. That was very sad. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Oh. Can you imagine? Can you imagine continuing to measure yourself against your twin that's not growing anymore? Can you imagine? <sighs> oh, it's just a little lookout. That's fun. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. I, like, want to put the rope back, you know? I want to put the, the red rope back. <laughs> But I think there's more to explore. so simple and imaginative as that book the life of a caterpillar opening up to a big picture of a butterfly every every little detail of this game was so crafted the passages were a pretty tight fit they'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies Barbara's room then. Edie's father Odin built the original house. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. <laughs> so I guess Barbara was a child actor in this Bigfoot movie. So this is the stairs that we came from, and then we came down here and peeped into Molly's room, and then went into Walter's room. These are rooms that we've been in, but we haven't looked into. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Oh my gosh. Look how long Edie had to live without Sven. That's horrible. Gregory? As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Why does it say Gregory on it? Who's Gregory? This is a bathroom. Uh, I'm confused. 1976 to 77? Mm -hmm. Not sure about that one. I and mean, then this is the one we just came from. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin.
Why did they have to put it like that? I mean, I know that's a fact, but ouch. Ouch. Mmm. <sighs> Don't like it. What is going on with that face? Excuse me? What? Oh, it's like a, a mask. Okay, I can see the strings now. I was very confused for a minute. <sighs> All right. On with the show. What are we in for here, Barbara? Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. I don't get it. What does America have to say in it? Until America grew out of Bigfoot? Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. I find the idea of child star in general to be extremely odd and not good. Um, I don't, I don't like it. It makes me feel weird that someone could become famous as a child and then have a whole life and grow up, but if they're never famous in anything ever again, then they only exist in the minds of people at that age. And that's extremely weird to me that that a version of them exists that will always be that age. It's weird. I don't like it. What does this say? I can't quite read it through the glare. Swan Lake, Belltown Theater, a theater girl. We love a theater girl. She ironed her own clothes. Very nice, Barbara. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. So I was just talking about. Oh my goodness, Seattle starlets. All these different playbills. Crazy. Greek tales. Persuasion. <laughs> The Hollywood Workout, Masters of Cinema, Alice in Wonderland, Siddhartha, Greek Tales a second time, The Poetics, Oliver Twist, The Red Carpet, Center Stage, Breaking In. Is this what people think my bookshelf looks like? Because I can tell you, um, it doesn't. <laughs> um, people who are actors, not everyone, but I'll speak for myself. We also like other books about other things. Like, I have I have all sorts of books on my shelf that have nothing to do with acting. This is not, we don't all only care about. I guarantee you I would never in a million years decorate my bedroom in playbills or like Hollywood signs. Like this, no interest. Like. Imagine, imagine this if you will. You're a doctor, okay? You work very long hours. You work 12 hour days on average, but usually more. You go home to your nice cozy bedroom. Mm, you're so excited for that bed. You wanna go to sleep. And your whole bedroom is medical themed. <laughs> <laughs> You've got like a stethoscope holder for your cell phone and instead of like an actual bed, it's like a surgery bed and like instead of lights, you have like the surgical lights that are easily maneuverable and they're like bright white. And <laughs> there's like fake blood splatter on the walls and like there's like... <laughs> a sign-in sheet at the door where you gotta fill out all your paperwork. Like, people love having their bedrooms themed as their work. <laughs> right? Everyone has that, right? 
like lawyers have like office themed bedrooms, right? <laughs> like nobody, no actor wants this in their bedroom. <laughs> this is our work. This is our job. No. Absolutely not. That is that is not not the case for the average Joe. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. No, it's okay. Yes, it's true that a lot of streamers stream from their bedroom, but all streamers wish they didn't. All streamers wish they had a separation between work and life. We just don't always have that opportunity. But all of us want that, trust me. We don't want streaming themed bedrooms. I promise. Promise. Happy birthday. This is literally a birthday cake. That's literally still in here. We sealed this up without cleaning up the food. That's um, questionable choices. Questionable. Why does this also look really flat? It looks like a cake. That's like a flat cake, like one of those cookie cakes. I don't know, odd, very odd. We all smoked as children. Okay. All right, we're just, we're gonna say the 60s were a different time. Okay. Where's the thing? Barb Street. Good. Rated jobs increased. Orca's Island Gazette, center of worst blizzard in her history. Gator Corvettes in Imperium. <laughs> I know technically that can't possibly be what that headline reads, but I'm having trouble tilting my head to read that better. Giant something house fire right across the street. <laughs> I had to fill in the blanks a little bit there. Um, okay, here we go. Here's something. Okay, a good old shrine to herself, huh? Typical actor's bedroom. You all should see the shrine I have to myself. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Fine quality, colorful patches. Old Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. I will tell you, some voice actor had As fun a with child that. Star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. But in a lucky That's rude. break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Mm, sad. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. I hate this. Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. I Why can't. Why your basement door locked? I hate him. Because I want him to die. Puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. 
So oh, thank I'm goodness. Look for him. Right? Oh, I hope I'm Rick is super dead in a very embarrassing way. Please. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. We do have rules not to go down into the basement. We have these rules for a reason, especially when there's no power. She found Rick's crutch and imagined Why was he on crutches? That was unexplained as of yet. Okay, we've got blood. Got a blood sighting. This is so fun. What are we gonna do with this crutch? Good old can. Yeah, yeah, get out of here, can pillars. What else are we gonna punch? Yeah, get out of here, bottles of bleach. Get out of here, soap. Yeah. Show them who's good. Laundry hamper. Get out of here. I clearly do not give a crap about Rick. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit do I care about whatever happened to Rick. Oh, the what now? Excuse the me? The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family 10 years ago tonight. Well, this is just horrifying. If Sven is responsible for this, maybe he deserved the table saw incident, okay? Oh, okay. A little boxing room down here. Good. All right, please tell me Rick's body was chopped up and put inside the refrigerator. The old fridge rattled and grew still. <laughs> oh, dear! That looks like Bigfoot. <laughs> Get him! Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused. It's none of your business, Rick! It's none of your business! It's none of your business, Rick! I'm sorry, I don't know if you've noticed, but this story is hitting a little bit close to home. Kill him! And you're... Yes! She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? <laughs> yes! And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late... Way to go, Barb. Show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Mm, poor choice of words, given this story. Interesting how different everything looks. And there's not just big old piles of books everywhere. Look at this egg chair! <gasps> I want a hanging egg chair. Man, the 60s were great. You can just have hanging egg chairs in the middle of your living room. That's great. Oh, there are still books everywhere. Okay. Oh, fun. We put out apples for Halloween. Okay, I won't ask questions about that. I guess we're not going to the left. To the right it is, Walter's room. Walter, are you there? Walter had vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. 
Barb returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. Yeah, Barbara. I like it. He was. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. Well, I hate that. Definitely punch that. Uh, I know there's another way out of here. Isn't it through here? A uh, window? Not going that way. Forget. I was just in this room. Oh, oh, right, right, right. There it is. Ah. That night, she played her part beautifully. That's to the bathroom. That's to the hallway. In years, the hinges groan. Are we sneaking by? Gonna be very effective. Got him. Slipped on the road. Oh, whoa, boy! If that's Rick, I'm gonna be really happy. She sensed the story might not be over yet. Oh, man. Yeah, where is Walter though? Is my question. Oh, he's gone. Classic. What if I went out the front door like a smart little lady and I just ran away? They're not gonna let us do that, huh? Nope, certainly not. All right then. Towards the danger it is. The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing. But all she heard was... Is he in the egg chair? Now we're going to the door. This all makes sense. Everything makes sense. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. <gasps> oh dear. <laughs> she still didn't scream. Bravo, Barbara. You were wonderful. The monsters had come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared. Probably Rick's night. fault. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her Ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tail. First of all, <laughs> ten out of ten pun. <laughs> Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending.
So what I'm getting from this is that Barbara was 110% a victim of the statistic that like 70% of all homicides are from the romantic partner. And Rick definitely killed her, chopped off her ear and left it in a music box. That's what I'm that's what I'm hearing for lack of a better word. Huh. Okay. I didn't like it. Didn't like it, not one bit. I wanted Rick to get more of a comeuppance for being as rude as he is. Okay. Barbara, that was a very entertaining story. What's next? What's next? Oh, the music box. Okay, so I guess back in the um, wardrobe. And then I guess now the I know why box. mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. So mom knows all these stories then, huh? And just keeps them secret? Even though Milton clearly knew about some of the hidey holes. So I guess next we go down to the basement. But we can also look through the peephole of this creepy door that doesn't have a name on it. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. That's a normal place to bury people. Uh-huh. Super normal. This family, normal. Really normal. Normal family. There's the key into the basement with no power. That's my favorite time to go into basements. What is that? Oh, it's like an ant trap. Okay, fair enough. What do we have down here? The same laundry basket. That's a classic. If it ain't broke, why replace it? Hey, didn't I knock you over before? Hey, didn't I knock you over too? Who put you back where you belong? What else do we have around here? Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. <laughs> so here's all the logs for portraiture. Good, good, good. Paint and primer, Sven's workshop. Ooh, the blueprints or the model for the dragon slide. Not yet quite big enough to crush a human, he thought. And he thought, better make it bigger. Mm hmm. At least he cleaned the blood off of this table saw. That's nice for everyone. Dark in here. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Packages of what? Packages of what kind? I thought maybe she was hiding presents. I don't know, Edie was kind of an odd duck. Maybe she was hiding ducks. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Mm-hmm. There's a safe behind this fridge. See, we didn't actually open the fridge in the comic book because Rick, as Bigfoot, jumped out and scared us. There's still a temperature meter on this safe, I guess. I don't want to go in here. Nobody wants to go in here. It's a cave. This is a cavern. That is not a safe place to go. Okay. 
I remember us. asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. E soup. This. This is a bunker. This is a bunker. A just in case the world ends bunker. Think there's a pattern in all these stories. Tasty beans. You can't have an emotional story based point and click game without beans. Tasty beans. Some might say Benny Baloo's tasty beans. Some might say that. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Eee. That's dark. A little extra good. Shower. Toilet. Definitely where you keep your dishes. Directly next to the toilet. Directly in the flush zone is where you keep your clean dishes. Nuclear bunker, seemeth like. Oh, this was Walter's zone, okay. So this was where Walter did some soldering of some train stuff. It's fun. Let's see, you've got coriander seeds, dill weed, nutmeg, oregano, some extra spices. Good, good, good. A little bit of cooking. Hello from China. Greetings from beautiful Spain. Hola from Mexico. Bonjour de France. Okay. That means hello of France. Do people actually say that? Is that like a, a, Fr a French like saying? A Frenchism? Bonjour de France. Hello of French. Greetings from India. Greetings from Thailand. Nip, nip, nip. Russia. Greetings from Brazil. Oh, that's kind of, um, that's pretty shrine-like there as well. Why is, like, a can opener part of his shrine? Did, did he just really like peach halves, or what was he counting down to? The end of the world? Was he, like, one of them? The Finch Curse is a book. Well, I'd like to read that book, wouldn't I? Did they think no one would notice that there was just a whole book? About oh, that there's an even bunkery bunker? How exciting. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's behind curtain number one. Ah, what a beautiful fake vista. Gorgeous. Just magical. You could live down here and never know. You would never know you were in a bunker. Ooh! A crutch as decor above the vista. Curious, isn't it? Whose crutch is it? Now, let's see. I think we should engage in this before we go down to the bunkery bunker. My gut instinct is telling me to do that. So here we go. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. What? On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. What? But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Even a monster, 
on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while I still can. You can't survive on just canned peaches. I just thought that I would let everyone know that in case you didn't. Um... Okay, so I don't know yet, but it's sort of seeming like, let me look at this timeline real quick. 1960. I don't exactly remember what it showed was like the earliest date on the calendar, but it was sometime in the 60s. I've been down here 30 years to 2005. It's 2005 currently in this timeline. I sort of wonder if like Barbara's death like triggered something in Walter that like caused him to become like a bunker hermit and like he was imagining the shaking. That's sort of like the vibe I'm currently getting. Which is just well, that's just insane is what it is, because that would mean that Walter was living in the house while Lewis, Milton, and Edith were all alive. Let's see where this leads. Um, obviously, we're supposed to go that way, which is why we can't go further this way. <clears throat> so let's... Let's see. Oh, that said curing the curse, I think. Okay. Some model train parts. Some Alvino's cereal. Extra crispy koala wearing, um, back to the future clothes. Oh, cracking the curse, yeah. Oh, there's a quite a theme here. 101 survival techniques, spiritual warfare, protection from demons, cracking the curse, homemade weaponry, psychic self-protection, exorcism, warding away spirits. Okay. So Walter probably thought that Barbara was killed by a monster, which is why he said that thing he said about like everything becomes normal, even a monster outside the door. So I think Walter honestly thinks that like, there's a monster in the house for real. But then I, I'm, I'm, you know, recalling what Molly kind of like wrote as her last journal entry about being a monster. And I'm like, that's curious. So Molly has a dream about being a monster and then mysteriously dies at 10 years old. Barbara gets mysteriously killed in the house. Walter is feeling the earth shaking around him, thinking that a monster killed his sister, hides in a bunker for 30 years. Edie keeps lizards in bird cages. There's a lot of weird stuff going on here. <laughs> okay. I know it's out there somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. Mm-hmm. And Molly. 
Mm-hmm. And Calvin. Okay. We tend to think differently about Calvin, but you can definitely think that Calvin was killed by the monster for sure. That makes sense if you're Walter. What the? Trash pit? I see Alvino's in there. We're gonna go with trash pit. Yeah, because that's brown rice bag. Okay, so he does eat more than peaches. That's good. Maybe this is all a mistake. I don't... I don't... But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Okay, so we just broke our way out of this bunker. Okay, so the shaking that Walter was experiencing was a train. That's when why he felt there, the shaking every day until he didn't, because I'm the train doesn't go by anymore. I'm going to appreciate all of it. This is not going to end food. well. This is not going to end well. I don't mind well. if I only have a year left. Or a month. I really don't want to keep walking, week. but it's doing it again where the game is making you keep walking. One new day. God. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Walter. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. We're actually going to stop the playthrough there because this is one of those games that deserves to be savored. Deserves for every little moment to be enjoyed and picked apart and talked about. That's what we love here. That's what I love. And um, I think this definitely deserves to be a two-parter. So please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. Please remember to subscribe to this little channel so you don't miss the next video. And please, please, please leave me a comment and let me know what you're thinking about all the different mysteries that this game has offered. It's such an incredible game. And uh, yeah, I just want to talk about it with you. I just, I just want to talk about it. So leave me a comment and that's all. I love you all.